There's not much competition. Hmm? Well, maybe that one uh, could be a little dangerous. She has good eyes. Sophia Ciccolone. Just pretend you're the queen. You'll win because you're beautiful. you to walk up to that platform in front of the judges, walk to the left, curtsy to the judges, and then come back, all right? Music! Loved you. You're perfect. Queen of the sea. Stop it, Mama. You saw my curtsy. You're wonderful curtsy. You won. them so long. This is nerve-wracking. They have to pretend it's hard to decide. It's only fair to the others. I'm not gonna win, Mom. I know it. As you know, there will be four princesses, a princess of honor, and of course, the queen of the sea. Now, as I announce the princesses, will they please take their place on the platform? Princess number four, Miss Verena Pozzi. Well, that's good, never be last. Princess number three, Miss Anna Marino. Miss Marino. Fair enough. The other pearl, she's yours. Mama. Princess number two, Miss Maria Vilenti. Miss Vilenti. And she's a frog, man. You're going to have quite an aquarium. Mama, if you don't stop, I'm leaving. Princess number one, Miss Louisa Sasso! Miss Sasso! <laughs> That's not bad at all. You shouldn't be the only pretty one. Now for our runner-up, the Princess of Honor, the lovely Sophia Ciccoloni! to announce the name of our winner, the Queen of the Sea, the very beautiful Lola Fury! That must have cost her 
mother planting. Five pounds to grief. With the other contestants and their mothers, please come out before I make my final announcement. In addition to her title, the Queen of the Sea will receive the first prize of 50,000 lira and a screen test at Chini Chita Studios. And for Sophia Shikoloni, our Princess of Honor, second prize of 10,000 lira, two train tickets to Rome, 12 rolls of wallpaper from the generous Coletti Furnishing Company, and six free acting lessons at the Naples Academy of Drama! <laughs> Naples wants to see our winners. Let the triumphant parade begin through the streets of our beloved city. <laughs> It's too small, too small. If she were queen, maybe they'd have given us somebody to hang this stuff. Mama, thank you for your help. And Write to me all about your acting lessons. We're going to be lost without you. Who's going to burn my shirts with the iron? Save them for me. I'll be back. You better be. Goodbye, Mama. What's important is that you wait here. Sophia, come on. Cows are brown and white. Cows are brown and white. I think we finally got it. Sit. Someday you'll be glad we spent three days on breathing the key to being heard, which is the key to success. Now you're ready to portray emotions, the actor's most important function. And how is this done? Through control of the senses, the nose, the mouth, the hands, the ears, and above all, the eyes. As Shakespeare says, the eyes are the mirror of the soul. I shall teach you to express these emotions through my own technique called shaping the actor out of stone. Now, take out your list of emotions. Let's begin with horror. Eyes and mouth open. Class. Wider. Uh, re relax. Let's try surprise. Mouth open slightly, hand up to the side of the mouth. Class. Good, Miss Shikaloni. Very promising. Class, look at Miss Shikaloni. That's surprise. Now, doubt. Eyes squint to the right. Class. 
No, 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 Mr. Obedi. Don't squint to the left. That's suspicion. All right, now. Uh, joy. Mama, today we started acting. What is it, Sophia? Fright, and this is doubt. Mm. Good, huh? It's much easier than I thought. The professor made me do it for the class. But wonderful. But it's a lucky day than you know. The Americans are in Rome to make a huge movie for Vardis, and we can work there as extras. We have the train tickets to Rome. Thanks to the Queen of the Sea. Yes, my girl. <laughs> Please. Who's calling? Municipal Gas Company. Mama, why? Hello? Ah, Ricardo, it's Romilda. I'm in room with your daughter. We have to see you. Uh, I'm afraid this is impossible, miss. Uh, we haven't had any trouble with the gas lines. But it's a question of life or death. For Sophia. Mama! Shh. Uh, my mother's house. I see, I see. Uh, all right, I'll get there as soon as possible. OK. so important. Sophia looks pretty good to me. If you come for money, there isn't any. Have I ever asked you for money? Why are you here? Because Sophia is going to be an actress. But right now, we need a place to stay. An actress? Mm -hmm. You're still crazy. What? You have no idea how tough things are in Rome. You want her to be an actress. Don't you want to help your daughter get ahead? In what, Ronilda? What? Third-rate movies, music halls? Not a nice profession for a serious girl. How do you know? Huh? Oh, please. This is another wild goose chase. She'll go through just what you went through, and then what? I'm not going to get involved in that. Ronilda, I have a new life, and don't interfere with it. like Paul Vardis, there are many scenes in which background people like you are needed. When I call out your name, step forward, and I'll assign you either to the harem sequence or the background crowd. Manzoni. Harem slave. Albanese. Background crowd. Chicoloni. Which one of you is Chicoloni? She is. I'm her mother. And which one of you has come to work? Uh, both of us. I see. Well, you, harem slave, and you, background crowd. Can't you put us together? Look, ladies, do you want the job or don't you? No, no, I don't want the job. 
Biondi. Okay, you've got the job. What's your name? Sofia Shikolone. Never. It sounds like a sausage. We need something more mysterious, sophisticated. I've got it. Lazarus, a body like yours could raise the day. For the Fumetis, you'll be called Sophia Lazarus. After work, you come straight home. Yes, ma'am. Buy what you need downstairs and bring it up here. Yes, Mom. I hate to be alone. You have to see the lawyer, Mama. It's important to Maria. No late nights, not even for overtime. Yes, Mom. No, I'm not going. I can't leave you alone. I'll be all right, Mama. But, Mr. Cicolone, a trial is for enemies. There is no reason to go to that extreme over a simple matter of a child's name. All we are asking you to do is notarize the document. The little girl will become Maria Cicolone and we'll all be happy. You did it for Sofia. Yes, well, I wasn't married then. I don't need myself to think about. I have a wife. I'm not going to drag skeletons out of the past to upset her. You'd rather upset a little girl. She needs her father's name for her life at school, with her friends who call her a bastard. Your wife wouldn't even have to know about it. All right, I've said everything I have to say. I'm not going to spend another three hours saying it again, but the answer is no. You sue me if you want to. coming to Naples meant he was ready to come from him. How much would it cost to bring him to court? It's hard to tell. It's not just a matter of money. It could go on for years. Primary judgment, appeals, counter appeals. And for what? For my daughter. I know, but in cases like this, the judgment nearly always goes in a man's favor. It's up to you. If you wish, I'll start proceedings. But frankly, the chances are almost nil. As you know, every Thursday evening we hold our own Miss Roma contest. All young ladies present are welcome to participate. And our special prize for the winner is a screen test at Toscolano Studios. Now, until our contest gets started, the orchestra will play for your dancing pleasure. Music! 
Thank you. Come on, Lazarus. Stop worrying, start having a good time. The sergeant is in Naples. The sergeant? Your mama. She'll never find you here. I'm not worried about that. I can do whatever I want. Excuse me for interrupting. I can't understand why this young lady isn't entering the contest. If I were a judge, you'd certainly get my vote. That's very nice of you, but I'm really not interested. You should be. I'm Carlo Ponte. Mr. Ponte knows talent, Sophia. Why don't you give it a try? No, really. It's not for me. It's for you. Just reach out for it. He sounds like the sergeant. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Ponte. I didn't mean that unkindly. I'll be in the contest. Good. You'll have fun no matter what. Excuse me. Do you realize who that was? No. That was the producer who invented Gina Lolo Brigida, Alida Valli, and lots more. He's famous, and he almost passed it up. Afraid of what the sergeant would say? The sergeant would be very pleased. Contestant number seven, Maria Matachi. And contestant number eight, Sophia Lazarus. You've seen our lovely ladies, and in a moment, the judge's decision. Presenting the award this evening are Mr. Martino Del Monte, a Pan American production, and Mr. Carlo Ponte. And now the judge's verdict. The winner is Miss Clara Guardi. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the queen has been crowned. I want to thank you all for coming this evening and special thanks to our lovely contestants. Now, let's get back to your dancing. I'm sorry, I think the judges were wrong. I seem to be a professional runner-up. This runner-up deserves a screen test, too. Get in touch with my office in the morning. Ciao. Something special happened when a face is photographed and those little silver nitrate particles come together on the film. It's more than a matter of chemistry. For some faces, it works. For others, regardless of talent or natural beauty, it doesn't. I have a feeling it'll work for you. You radiate your emotions when you let the wall down. What do you mean? The contest, for example. You must bust it up. You have a suspicious nature. I get that from my mother. It's a quality in a mother, but not an actress. Emotions can't get through closed doors. I hope you'll open them for the test. Are you ready? I'm a little nervous, but that'll go away. Good, let's go. So are you from Pozzuoli? Your parents still live there? My mother went back to pick up my younger sister. Otherwise, she lives here with me. What does your father do? I don't know. He lives in Rome. He never married my mother. I'm illegitimate. So? Don't make it sound like a disease. Well, what do you think? Same as you. It was awful. I wouldn't be upset. You're new to this. I'm not at all upset. I learned from it. Next time I'll know what to do. Good. There's uh, one small thing, however, it's, well, it's your nose. My nose? 
What about my note? It's just a detail. You ought to have it shortened. Just a little for the camera. My nose is detailed. The nose commands the face, defines character. Besides, it's my nose, and I don't want it to look like anybody else's. Bravo. That shows great spirit. I just don't happen to agree, and neither does the cameraman. I have to be myself, nose included. Well, we'll see. No, we won't. You certainly do believe in yourself. If I don't, who will? Victoria. How's it going? We'll have a first cut in a few days. I think you'll like it. Good, good. Think, think. Victoria De Sica, Sophia Lazarus. We've just been looking at her screen test. Discussing her nose. Ah. What nose has he offered you? Ava Gardner's. Lauren Bacall's. Don't listen to him. Don't listen to anybody. I have never rejected. I don't like it. After three days, you could at least have come in and met her mother. Why, Mama? He's a married man with children. My mother would like to meet you. Why? I told you, she's suspicious. She's curious about your wife. Are you? To tell the truth, yes. Yeah. My wife's a lawyer like me. I come from a family of Milanese lawyers. You know, people from Milano, cold, calculating workhorses from the north. I'll take a southerner from Naples any day. I admire their vitality, the, the way they appreciate simple things, the way they look at life. Is your wife from the south? <laughs> no. She's a northerner like me. I see. Do you have children? Two, girl and boy. Does it shock you going out with a married man? With somebody else it might, but not with you. I'm glad. Why doesn't Big Shot call upon to give you a job? He didn't promise anything. He just said he'd keep his eyes open. Sure. Keep his eyes on you. Mama, Carlos not like that at all. He's a kind, gentle man. And why is he afraid to meet me? We have nothing for you on today's call. Sorry. After two weeks of casting offices, I feel like a piece of unsold merchandise. Unsold is the best kind. You know why? Because, because you can still raise the price. <laughs> my girl. This is like a fairy tale, Carlo. I keep thinking I wake up back in Pozzuoli. If you do, you better take me with you. <laughs> it's nothing like this. I wouldn't notice. I haven't noticed anything with you for weeks. It's like being 20 years old again. <laughs> if that means you feel as happy as I do, then we're both lucky. I don't think it's luck. If people have the capacity for happiness, happiness will come. It's just that I've forgotten I was capable of it. Promise you'll never forget again. That's up to you, Sophia. You'll have to remind me every day. How do I do that? The way you have every day until now. That smile, with the light in your eyes. And with my long nose. Oh, I'm so glad you didn't change it. Here's to your first speaking part. That was very good. Now read me the first speech of scene 40 again. There's a world down there in the sea that's so special. When I'm down there, my fears and trouble disappear. 
The sea is my true home. Good, Miss Lazarus. You've got the part. We're going to have to double the wig for the swimming scene. You can't swim, can't you? Swim? She swims like a fish. Good. I'll prepare the contract, then. Mama, you know I can't swim. Just sign the contract one thing at a time. Too bad you have to wear that. You look like Uncle Willie. Ladies, we do have one small problem. Why? The name. Sophia Lazarus connects you with the Fumettis. My real name is Sophia Shikorone, if that's in hell. Oh, it's worse. We need something short, easy to remember. Like Torin. I just finished a picture with Marta Torin. Now, let me see. Oren, Corin, Doran, Lauren. Lauren, that's good. You'll be Sophia Lauren. I'll make out a contract for Sophia Lauren. It's not bad. I like it. You, you shout, no, no, run here and jump from the ship. Oh, no, I can't. Can what? Jump or swim. But you were high. I know, I apologize, but I can't swim a stroke. I'm going home. We have all this equipment here. These people, you can't go back to Rome. If you give me a few days and someone to teach you, I'll learn to swim. All right, fine. <laughs> But right now, we've got to make this shot. Which shot? You jump it into the water. But I just told you. Oh, no, I go straight down and never come up. You won't. We have an expert swimmer in the water, see? He'll be there to fish you out. There's nothing to worry about. Just jump when I say jump. OK? Ready? Ready. Ready! Off. We'll do it again. I know I didn't want to sign the papers in Naples. You were waiting. Waiting for Sophia to stop making money. And now that she has, who knocks it at all? The name salesman. A million lira for a name. And Maria should have had my birthright. I hope you understand that I need the money. You going to count it? Maria Chicolone. Sofia, I love you. Just because I've survived one underwater movie, they think I'm Mr. Williams. I've just been offered two parts with Fish for Co-Stars. I never should have learned to swim. The film was good experience for you. And your performance was really quite lovely. I'm glad you did. I'm too. But if it lasted any longer, I would have sprouted fins. <laughs> <laughs> it was your first 
major part, and this is to remember it by. Carlo, it's beautiful, but it's much too much. I'd have to be Sir Bernhardt to deserve something this elegant. Sir Bernhardt would never have made me as happy as you do. But Carlo... Please. Don't put a price on our happiness. You turned my life around, Sophia. Giving you something special is a joy to me. But this is too special, really, I... We'll be late for lunch. <laughs> have cost you plenty. I didn't buy it. No. But I'll bet you paid for it. Mama, please don't stop. Have a drink, a little girl. Cut it out, Mama. Men aren't all like Ricardo. Carlo cares for me. I know he cares, and I know what he cares about. Don't you tell me otherwise. You don't want me to be happy. You want me as bitter and full of hate as you are. Well, your life is the last one I want to live. You would know how to. I sacrificed my life for a daughter of six trinkets that married men are more important than all we ask for. You're jealous of every good thing that happens to me. A man will cheat on his wife, will cheat on you. Stop reading your face, listen to my happiness. Just a young lady. No, Mama, that's enough. You keep making beautiful things ugly and dirty. I'm fed up. Sophia, you've got to listen to me. I'm trying to save you from two things I know all about. Pain and sadness. That man will ruin your life. No. Carlo loves me, Mama, and I love him. Well, remember, these will be isolated clips, but I want you to get some idea of the girl's range. Are you ready? Yeah. Go. Next clip is from another costume picture. Fine. How about something from the 20th century? I hit something from a comedy she made a few months ago. the nerve to ask me what I think. I think I'm going to be sick. <laughs> but of course it was garbage. I didn't direct it. But what that girl did in the automobile scene was magic. Fine. It was magic, I agree. But I'm not running a charity for unknown actresses. The name Sophia Lauren couldn't sell five tickets in an air-conditioned theater in the Sahara. Just get her in front of my camera and the tickets will take care of themselves. I want Sophia Lauren in gold of name. What do you say, Carlo? It's your money, too. I never argue with a director. Neither do I, unless he's trying to force me into bankruptcy. It never fails. When he gets cranky, huh? it's lunchtime. Let's get some pasta into him. When he's hungry, he makes lousy decisions. And today, I am taking you to a new Carolina, a Roman one. Don't know it. Sophia, I want you to think of the lens as a Neapolitan eye that you want to keep open and on you. No matter what happens, you don't look to the right or to the left. Not even Vesuvius erupting makes you turn around. This little walk will make the film. Are you ready? Anytime, Victoria. Take me back.
You've never lived away from Mama in your whole life, Sophia. Doesn't it scare you? Even a little bit? There's nothing to be afraid of. I love Carlo, he loves me. After all this time, there is no reason why we shouldn't be living together. No matter what Mama thinks. How long do you think Mama will keep fuming over this? Ah, Mama enjoys being upset. Don't worry. She's strong. She'll be all right. I'm going to miss you, Sophia. Oh, the apartment is not that far away. We can see each other every day. Thank you. Buy some flowers for me. Okay. With this, I could buy a whole nursery. But it's a good idea. Maybe flowers will cheer her up. Ciao, Maria. I'll call you in the morning. Smells like I'm right on time. Mm. How did it go? I have to spend the entire morning in the cutting room undoing the mess they make. What about the pride and the passion? Did you have the meeting with Sally Kramer? Yes, but it didn't work out the way I thought it would. Why? I wanted him to pay you $20,000 for the part. He won't pay it. How much did he offer? Do you really want to know? Oh, whatever it is, tell me. $250,000. Hey! I could strangle you for teasing me. Let me breathe. How did you do it? I let him do all the talking. Mm, for one. $250,000. Um, how much is it in lira? About 150 million lira. 150 million lira? You have to be in Spain by the first week in May. And yeah. guess who your leading men are? Who? Guy Grant and Frank Sinatra. Frank Sinatra? Hey, you look out for him. They say he's quite a ladies' man. Not this. Loren, I thought you might want to meet one of your leading men. Cary Grant, Sophia Loren. It's Loren. Grant. It's a pleasure. You're lovely. Thank you. Why is it like that? There should be a law against putting makeup on such a beautiful face. Thank you. There once was a girl named Sophia, who was oh so terribly dear. Each time she said no, it was a terrible blow. Did she ever say yes? Mamma mia! Bravo! Did you like it? Made it up myself. Now, surely that must earn me the right to take you to dinner tonight. Hmm? Say yes. No, it's not very hard. Just say yes. Say yes, Carrie. Yes, Carrie. You can say see if you want. I understand some Italian. I'm sorry. How long are you going to hold out, Miss Martin? 
forever with the grass. Well, that was a long time, so. It's good you could get back to Rome for a week. I missed you. I missed you, too. How did the last day of shooting go? I think the cannon had the best scenes. <laughs> you seem to be getting a lot of publicity these days. I think they had the press agents working all the time. What's wrong with dancing with your leading man? I wouldn't mind if he were on the screen, but not in a magazine. Carlo, there are no chains holding me. Then you feel something for him? I only know that my feelings for you haven't changed. In a couple of months, you'll be going to Hollywood. What then? Carlo, give me some time. Take your time. Our feelings for each other won't change. <laughs>